Hello, hope everyone's doing well. And today, going over Anthem of Remembrance, the uh, mini event we got going on, where you can get Marseille, the uh, French light cruiser. Now, there's two ways of getting her. You can either pull her from the gacha pool, which is in light pool right now, on raid up, or you can grind 10,000 points during the current event to uh, unlock her. I would highly recommend doing the latter option. If you get her while doing your daily light pole build, so for the daily mission, there's one that says build one ship. You do the light pole. That way it's only one cube use instead of two for heavy and two for special. So if you get her that way, just doing that one pull a day, absolutely fine. But I would just overall save your cubes. The uh, anniversary is coming up in a few days. I'd uh, say is the third. So it is 10 days from now. Uh, once again, I will be attending the event. So hopefully I'll have some cool video for you guys to show off. Nice pictures and such. But yeah, so save your cubes. Uh, do the event. It's not hard. The highest level ships are level 80. In about, I think, 85. And to make it a little faster, um, while you're grinding, say, uh, I think it's SP3. Only three stages. SP3. You get... 150 points total for completing a stage normally. There's no times two modifier, but if you use some ships that, some French ships that give an extra bonus, if I can click the right button. So right here it's listed Marseille, Richelieu, Le Terrible, and Algeria. However, I saw someone posting that there are some extra ships in here that are not included on this list. Uh, Algeria Meta is also on this uh, for bonuses. So is La Gassonere and La Gassonere Meta. Now La Gassonere makes sense because Marseille is also a La Gassonere class ship. And so yeah, let's uh, let's go over her real quick. Over here. Very nice design. I'll pull the picture. I really like the French designs. I think... I think in terms of overall designs for like entire factions, I'd put the French combined as my second favorite after the Italians. Oh, she's got like a figure behind her. I thought it was just like a uh, drapes. No, it's a it's a figure. That's cool. Yeah, so very very nice design. Really like her design. Like I was saying, I really like all the French designs. Got a very nice skin. Yeah, so over her skills now what i'm thinking her role is going to be is as an off tank she gets speed and evasion um all the french ships are very very fast so this makes sense so she gets extra speed extra evasion increase her damage taken by 15 percent. so she can also serve as a main tank or maybe you want to have a heavy cruiser or a really dodge destroy as your main tank but Main tank, off tank. I'm thinking more off tank for a roll. And when she's attack, she's a 15% chance to deploy a barrier that lasts 8 seconds. Can negate up to 3% of her HP and damage. But there's a 20 second cooldown. So, you know, very, very good tanking capabilities. And when that shield, that barrier is destroyed or expires, then she fires a special barrage. So she's a good chance of firing that barrage, you know, every 20 seconds or so if she's being attacked. And then she gets buffs firepower and attack and accuracy for herself. And she also buffs your Iris Libre and Vishaya ships. So all your French ships, firepower, torpedo, aviation, reload by 8%. And every 20 seconds at max level. Restores 1% of those ships max HP. So definitely seems to be a French fleet overall focus ship. So I'm seeing her and Richelieu being the two mainstays of French fleets that are not all destroyer front lines from now on. So yes, very, very good ship. Really like her. Got pretty good AA. Okay, torpedo. My cat's meowing at me. ASW could be a bit better, but... It is what it is. Can't win them all. Uh, decent air efficiency slots. Uh, she will have a torpedo preload, which is nice. And yeah, so overall, 
quite a nice ship. Uh, definitely not worth pulling for because you can get her for free. So don't go out of your way. Like I said, I'm going to keep hammering this home. As for what stages to grind, uh, SP3. I haven't seen what the drops for SP2 and SP1 are, but in terms of chips, as you can see, there's some purple gear. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, some, yeah, nothing great. And then as for the... I didn't grind enough of these. I just did the two clears and I was done, so I moved on. But with SP3, you can get Dunkirk, which can help you grinding Gascon, uh, Champagne, Flandre. And yeah, and I really like Gascon too. Not Gascon. Uh, you can get Dunkirk. I really like Dunkirk. Very nice design, very nice voice. It's very, you know, an okay ship, but she's a battlecruiser. And it's nice to have decent battlecruisers for hard mode stages that uh, require you have a battlecruiser in there. So, you know, you can get one pretty easily. And you'll be grinding the stage a lot if you're going to be doing this event. So, is this event worth participating in? I would say yes. You can get Dunkirk. You can get a decent HE CA gun. And hopefully you'll get 15 prints while you're grinding. I think I've gotten one or two so far. And Marseille herself is quite a good ship what it appears um you know especially if using her in a french fleet so her and richelieu can buff up even the elite french ships so you can use like vaclin or fog one of those you know stuff like that so yeah overall i'm quite happy with this uh mini event just uh hold us over until the anniversary so yeah uh thank you for watching hope you enjoyed uh let me know what you think of marseille you know if you're gonna use her or not and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.